While the holiday island of Sardinia offers a stunning backdrop, its stages are anything but welcome. Fast, rocky, narrow roads, precious little room for error, the sandy surface tough on earlier runners and becoming heavily rutted for the second pass. Add high temperatures and it's right up there as a hugely demanding test for crews and cars alike. Avoid the hazards though, make it through the Sunday afternoon in front and it's a very rewarding event to win, something a certain Belgian has managed twice. When the roads are narrow, um, I feel really comfortable and uh, it can be very precise. So it helps me a lot to go fast without necessarily uh, uh, to overdrive the car. So that's very important and it's crucial over there. You need to be very precise, clean, find the traction, um, never go wide as well. Um, don't take uh, too much risk uh, because it's easy to hit a stone. They are lying just 20 centimeters of the, the side of the road. So yeah, it's something which fits me very well. Uh, but as well, our car has been always very competitive on, uh, on high grip gravel and uh, yeah, that combination made it always uh, very successful over there. Thierry Le Bill, two-time winner on the island where Hyundai have enjoyed regular success in recent seasons, four wins in six years. And that record might have been even better had Oytanak not come unstuck last year, leading by more than 40 seconds midway through the rally before succumbing to the terrain on Saturday's second pass through Montilano. There are so many uh, stones and rocks coming out of the surface, uh, also side of the roads, as we saw last year. Uh, the way uh, I managed to lose another rally, uh, just uh, another stone uh, pulled on the road and, and that's it. So. Uh, it's, it's a rally where uh, definitely during the rally you, you will hit uh, some stones and, uh, and in this way I guess yeah, the car needs to be strong or you just need to be lucky. The rally is still fast, uh, the stages are fast and, and when, you, when you hit something solid you know it's, it's a big deal for the car to manage it. I think Sardinia has always been renowned for a rally that's, that's got quite a high attrition rate. Um, but let's say as the cars have become more and more reliable, we've been more and more used to seeing everybody finish. But last year, we seemed to be back to how it used to be, uh, let's say, in the beginning of my WRC career, where a lot of cars seemed to, to drop out. Um, but also last year, we had a lot more introduction of these narrower stages that were a bit more rough again. And uh, yeah, we saw side in your bite. For me, it's most difficult rally in a WRC event, I would say, on gravel especially, because of it's very really like narrow, you have no space, and then very slippy, and uh, it's really hard to make face note, and speed is still quite high, so face note information comes very quick, and you have to listen, and you have to correct and everything, and same time this year we have a hybrid boost. For sure this will make it more difficult to drive on those kind of conditions and stages because of narrow and there is so many rocks and concrete and if you lose the rear because of the boost then you, you hit something easily so it's gonna be very difficult for sure. WRC Plus, all live.